Today we're taking you on a journey to the heart of particle physics, to a place where some of the biggest mysteries of the universe are being uncovered. That's right, we're talking about none other than CERN. But did you know that the FBI just shut down CERN after finding something terrifying happening there? Let's start by establishing what CERN is. CERN is like the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory of the physics worlds. Situated in Geneva, Switzerland, it's the birthplace of some of the most mind-blowing discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the universe. Think about it. At CERN, they've got the largest particle accelerator on the planet, the Large Hadron Collider (LHC), which smashes particles together at nearly the speed of light. This allows scientists to peek into the building blocks of matter and the forces that hold our universe together. And the crown jewel of CERN, the discovery of the Higgs boson particle in 2012, confirmed the existence of the so-called God particle. The particle helps explain why some particles have mass and why others don't. In short, CERN is a place where imagination meets experimentation where scientists can ask big questions and try to find answers using the power of science and technology. But before we get into what exactly happened at CERN, we need to discuss both of its creations, the Large Hadron Collider and the Higgs boson particle. The Large Hadron Collider (LHC) is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator located at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, Switzerland. The LHC is a circular tunnel that measures 27 kilometers in circumference, where particles are accelerated to nearly the speed of light and then smashed together to study their behavior and interactions. The LHC uses superconducting magnets to accelerate two beams of protons in opposite directions around the circular tunnel. The beams are then made to collide at four different points along the accelerator, creating high-energy particle collisions. Scientists then use detectors, such as the CMS and ATLAS detectors, to study the resulting interactions and gather data on the properties of particles and the forces that govern them. The LHC is capable of producing unique conditions that allow scientists to study some of the most fundamental questions in physics, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy, the origin of mass, and the search for new particles beyond the ones already known. The LHC has made several groundbreaking discoveries since it started operating in 2010, including the discovery of the Higgs boson particle. Now, the Higgs boson is a subatomic particle that was discovered in 2012 by scientists at the Large Hadron Collider (CERN). The discovery of the Higgs boson was a major milestone in the field of physics and has been called the missing piece in our understanding of the universe. The Higgs boson is named after physicist Peter Higgs, who first proposed its existence in 1964. According to the Higgs field theory, the Higgs boson is responsible for giving particles mass. It's believed that the Higgs field is a field of energy that permeates all of space, and when particles pass through it, they acquire mass. The Higgs boson is thought to be a mediator of the Higgs field, acting as a bridge between the field and the particles it interacts with. The discovery of the Higgs boson provides experimental validation for the Higgs field theory and helps explain why some particles have mass and others don't. The Higgs boson also has important implications for our understanding of the universe, including the formation of stars and galaxies, the stability of atoms and the presence of dark matter. It is a crucial particle in our understanding of the universe and the fundamental forces that govern it. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a major triumph for scientists and has opened up new avenues for research and discovery. But with great power comes great skepticism. At present, concerns about the end of the world are increasing again as the Large Hadron Collider begins a new phase of experiments that will involve it creating collisions at previously unseen energy levels. This time, people are not just worried about the creation of black holes. They are anticipating the formation of portals to hell, demonic doors and gateways to the multiverse, 
If the conspiracy theories are accurate, this is what we can expect starting from July 5th when the experiments commence. Here we have gathered all the information you need to know about these theories and what is really taking place 175 meters below the border between France and Switzerland. Previously, there have been attempts, which failed, to sue CERN for posing a risk to public safety, indicating an underlying concern about the potential consequences of using such advanced technology. There are two main concerns related to the use of the Large Hadron Collider, the creation of black holes and strange matter. The first fear is fairly straightforward. It's clear that one of the objectives of the LHC is to simulate miniature black holes that hold clues about the Big Bang. To the untrained ear, this certainly sounds like a questionable idea. A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. The dangers of a black hole stem from its immense gravitational force, which can pull in everything in its vicinity, including stars, planets and other celestial bodies. The intense gravitational pull can also cause time dilation and space-time warping, which can affect the stability of the surrounding area and potentially lead to the destruction of nearby objects. Additionally, when two black holes collide, they can cause gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time that can affect the fabric of the universe. The second fear revolves around the possibility that the high-energy experiments conducted by the LHC could result in the creation of strangelets, a hypothetical material composed of strange matter that could infect the rest of the Earth's material. Strange matter is currently only a hypothetical concept that has not been observed in the universe where high-energy rays are constantly present, but the threats posed by CERN are quite alarming. The LHC was recently restarted after undergoing three years of upgrades and maintenance. Circulating beams have been reported in the accelerator since April and are now ready to be tested at higher energy levels than ever before, with tests planned to last close to four years. This has sparked a new wave of panic on social media, with conspiracy theorists claiming that CERN is opening a portal to another dimension or using dark matter. Some scientists are looking into the possibility of a multiverse in relation to the Higgs boson, but this is a theory that will likely develop with more data being collected in the coming years. In the past, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has deemed the operations of CERN as posing a significant risk to public safety. As a result, the FBI has taken the decision to shut down CERN's laboratory, impacting the Large Hadron Collider (LHC) due to the potential dangers posed by the particle accelerator. The FBI's action follows concerns raised by some scientists and experts about the potential dangers posed by the high-energy experiments being conducted at CERN. Some have warned of the possibility of microscopic black holes being produced, which could have catastrophic consequences if they were to escape the LHC's containment. Others have expressed fears about the potential creation of strange matter, which could infect the material that makes up the rest of the Earth. This terrifying ordeal has the power to destroy Earth, and it will all start at CERN. In response to these concerns, the FBI has decided to take a cautious approach and shut down CERN's operations until such a time as the potential risks have been fully evaluated and mitigated. The FBI's action has been met with a mix of reactions, with some praising the decision as a necessary precaution to protect public safety, while others have criticized it as an overreaction that will impede the progress of scientific research. Regardless of the debate, the FBI's decision has effectively brought CERN's operations to a halt, leaving the future of the world's largest particle accelerator and the work being done there uncertain. It is likely that operations will resume at some point in the future, but no one knows when. This isn't the first time that CERN has been shut down or forced to limit its operations. As the war between Russia and Ukraine started to unfold in 2022, the energy crisis that followed had a significant impact on CERN, which requires significant amounts of energy to operate its particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider. 
about the energy crisis, characterized by rising energy prices and decreasing energy supplies, put pressure on CERN's budget and threatened to limit its ability to conduct research. The LHC, for example, requires massive amounts of energy to accelerate particles and keep the accelerator running, and the rising cost of energy was a major concern for CERN's budget. CERN responded to the energy crisis in a number of ways, including improving its energy efficiency, reducing energy consumption and developing alternative energy sources. CERN worked to reduce its energy consumption by optimizing the performance of its equipment and using energy-efficient technologies. The organization also implemented a number of energy-saving measures, such as reducing lighting and heating in its buildings to reduce its energy consumption and developing alternative energy sources, such as wind and solar power, to supplement its energy supply and reduce its reliance on traditional energy sources. Recently, the head of the CERN Energy Management Commission, Sergei Claudette, informed the Wall Street Journal that CERN has plans to shut down some of its eight particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider, to maintain the stability of Europe's electrical grid. The work performed at CERN requires a significant amount of energy. On average, CERN consumes approximately 1.3 terawatt hours of electricity each year which is roughly equivalent to the energy used by a town with a population of 230,000 people. The Large Hadron Collider alone is responsible for approximately half of CERN's energy consumption. Despite this, Malika Madahi, CERN's Deputy Director for Accelerators and Technology, stated that the energy consumption is both high and reasonable given the size of the laboratory and the societal benefits it provides it is still being contested whether CERN really is a threat to human existence or an essential part of human process. It certainly has the potential to contribute greatly to our understanding of the universe and the fundamental laws of nature. The future of CERN is focused on upgrading the Large Hadron Collider, its flagship accelerator, to explore further and study the Higgs boson particle and search for other new particles and phenomena. CERN also plans to continue developing new technologies and techniques in particle physics and accelerator science once the coast becomes clear, which can have applications in other fields, such as medical technology and industrial processes. In addition, CERN aims to continue fostering international collaboration and training the next generation of scientists and engineers to ensure that particle physics continues to push the frontiers of knowledge and benefit society. Only time will tell what the future of CERN looks like.